Hey, Merry Fresh. It's the 30th of December, 2018. And this is just very interesting, and I must share it with you. Uh, back to this volcano. Okay, this just came out yesterday. Uh, Fizz.org, science, um, about the Indonesian tsunami volcano and how it lost two-thirds of its height, okay? Now, I see that whenever I see that, and it's involving this, the volcano Anak, okay? Remember, we, we got to keep the context here, uh, what, we're, what we're talking about, and it's a spiritual war that we're seeing manifest here, but this goes back to the giants, okay? The sons of Anak, who were the descendants, obviously, of the sons of God that came unto the daughters of men. They bear children unto them, the same became mighty men, which were of old. Men of renown. And that, here they are, the sons of Anak, the volcano. So, the one third left over uh, could be looked at as those that were cast down, if you will. Like we see in Revelation 12. And his tail drew a third part of the stars, and did cast them to the earth. Okay? The volcano, the, you could call that like the host of, of Satan, has lost two-thirds of its stature, if you will, because only a third of them went with him. You see what I mean? You could go so many directions with this. It's really fascinating, to be honest with you. And I hope people, like, look into this stuff and, and just pray on it, because the stuff that we're led to through the Spirit of God is just amazingly amazing and the thing is you know i i don't always know the exact interpretation um I, I pray for understanding which i'm given in the sense that i understand that i'm watching the physical war or the spiritual war rather manifest physically that that we can put in physical context the war that we're seeing in the spiritual realm which is coming into manifestation fruition it's it's coming upon the earth and you don't want to be without jesus when this occurs because he's the only safety and security that you will find and that's just the way it is it's, it's no other way but so get this i'm just reading the article talking about the volcano i'm just going to kind of skim through it but i will link it you, you really got to read this it's crazy um, I could get into so many things that the 400 actually links to the Tau in Krakatau, right? As, and, and the way I mean that is if you look in the Greek, okay, the Tau, the actual letter, it's also the equivalent in the Hebrew, uh, to the Ta. You kind of get the, the idea of what I'm saying as the equivalent, the 400, uh, a mark, a sign, or a cross. To seal a covenant, to join two things, the last. Okay, so that's just like, you know, the way that it comes to me. And again, I, I don't know exactly what it means. I don't. But the Tao, you could go a million directions in and of itself. Okay, but not right now because this is just too much. I want to share in this article. The section of an act, it collapsed. A visual analysis uh, said the volcano lost more than two-thirds. Anak, which used to stand 338 meters. Now, just the patterns and stuff here are just out of control. I, right there, I see the 33, of course, the third. Okay, but it's also an 11 and an 11. So you're essentially seeing an 11, 11, and a 33. And that equates to 1,109 feet in height. Now, you can figure that out yourself and was now just 110 meters so they close it off with another 11 so the 11s are very prevalent here right and the estimated volcano lost 150 to 180 million and when i first saw that i all i thought really was that it adds up to 230 which is a 23 which which comes into play in this because this is telling us about the separation essentially that's occurring right now um, you could say that you know the wheat and the tares are, are being kind of sorted out 
the sheep and the goats are being separated, you know, however you want to analogize it. But, you know, the, the time to choose who you serve is upon us. That's essentially what it's saying. Before and after the images, the volcano's name means the child of Krakatoa. No, it translates different than that. Was a new island that emerged around 1928. Okay, like, that's when, like, stock markets started to die and everything, and it's also a 9-11. 9, 8 plus 2 plus 1, 11. A crater left by Krakatoa, whose massive 1883 eruption, the 88, which has a whole nother direction we could go with the 13, but it's simply a 9-11, just to follow the pattern. It killed at least 36,000 people. That's crazy. 6 times 6 is 36, 3, 6, 9. We could go down another road there, but the general pattern. Uh, the status has been raised to high alert. The exclusion zone, da 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 da, two to five kilometers, one point two to three miles. And all I see is the two to five. There's three in between the two and the five. The one point two to three miles. There's one point eight between those two numbers. It adds up to a nine eleven. <laughs> it's just the way I see it, you guys. I can't help it. The hardest disaster. They prayed. They prayed to the dead again. Uh, no mention of God, but um, I do pray for these people. I can't imagine the despair that my heart is so heavy for them. Um, authorities said at least 426 people were killed and 23 missing. There's your other 23 after you take these two numbers, if I can find them. Yeah, 230, the 23. It's just crazy. And some, oh, the 426, wait do you see that? We're, we're talking about the gods, the sons of God, Anak, and all these things, right? 426 we could do a lot of things with, too, as well. I actually, my mind wants to see the 46 divided into two, because that's what's happening. 23, go missing, 23, stay, whatever, however you want to look at it. But 426 in the in the Hebrew, okay, look at this, this is crazy. In the Hebrew, it goes both ways. Watch this. H426. It is Elah, which is God. Big G and little g. Okay? Probably emphatically a deity or the deity. Big G, little g, God. A God. If we take that number, though, and turn it upside down, like we're told, and we go reverse of it, which would be, what, 426 would be 624. And look what we get, okay? This is just crazy to me. Apollonia, Apollonia, whatever. A pagan deity, Apollyon. That is the sun from G622. Destroy fully, perish or lose. Destroy, die, lose. Oh, man, that's a bad one. Apollyon from the sun. And this is directly related to Apollyon. We see the 9-11s everywhere. Look at some 7,202 people. What a, what a quaint number. 9-11. Seriously. And the rebellious fallen ones. Crazy. The 40, ooh, that's another road we can go down. But I haven't counted any days or anything like that. I'm just showing you this because it's that crazy. The fact that this means forwards and backwards, gods, Apollyon, the 9-11, leading directly to Revelation 9-11, Apollyon, and all the rhetoric lately about the moon landings and the flat earth, Apollo's coming out with, the, with a uh, documentary to prove they went to the moon, unbelievable. But this is what I see. I see this as just another indication that we are closer to the day where that plumb line is dropped down the wall. And if you're leaning one way, then you're on that side. If you're leaning the other, you're on the other side. So you got to know what side you're on and choose one. And I pray that you choose Jesus Christ because he's the only way. Had to share that, you guys. Links in the description. Peace and grace. To all of you, any face. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord 
and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 